Um, nutrition wise, uh, here's, I'm a foodie. My girls are beyond foodie. So one thing I don't do, and, and during this combo, talk to me. You guys don't need to be just listening to me. You can shut me up, ask some questions. Um, nutrition is this. In a weird way, I knew I was going to do this. Talk to me. Sorry, my what? brain asked you to stop at 315 or 750. <laughs> <laughs> Around 25 reps, my brain stops. So. <laughs> Um, I started at 17 on my birthday. Uh, I would squat 315 for my age. Um, and so uh, every year on my birthday, I do that. So one of the things is uh, this last year, C.T. Fletcher, a buddy of mine, uh, that we used to hit heads in back in the early 90s when we were powerless against each other, uh, said, well, come down to your birthday squats. So I was going to come down to 47. And then I said, skip, let's go to 50. So, um, it's just one of those things that I'm a very mental guy. Uh, Irish guy, I don't think too bright when I'm in the gym. Um, so, one of the big things is, is I love pushing my body. Because now, I, uh, I won the universe four times, but uh, in powerlifting I stopped in the uh, late 90s because I was doing TV shows, Gladiators, a TV show, Battle Dome with Terry Crews, and then another Gladiators and Daytime Soaps. <laughs> so, so I was doing all that kind of fun stuff, so I didn't get to compete as much. But it was a new chapter in my life. I knew I needed to move on. Uh, you always need to grow. You always need to try new things. Life's about new, new things for me. Um, I believe for everybody. But one thing is when I go into train and do things, I always try to push myself. And I try to see what is possible. Um, and one thing is, is 315 for 50 reps. And, you know, now we're going to try to beat Tom Plaza and do 500 for 25 reps. So, yes, it has. I told you I'm not bright. They go, no, we want you to speak. I'm like, all right, let's do this. We're going to joust halfway through this thing. So, get pumped up. Um, one of the things also I do is, is when it comes to nutrition, I test myself. Because education only takes you so far. You guys are out there doing it. Experience beats all. Take what you learn, apply it. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, that's fine. Do not think because it is written that it is factual. Test it. Test everything on this aspect. One of the things is everybody says that uh, uh, you bodybuilding or powerlifting and stuff, you need a large amount of protein and calories. Well, see, I play with things like that. I love that. I love testing it. I do four grams of protein, uh, four ounces of protein, which is barely over 25 grams of, of protein, um, every two, three hours. And I maintain 255 pounds of pretty okay weight. Now my point is, I tested because everybody was saying this is factual, that you need more than that. You need a larger amount of calories. But my body, because I'm different, in a sense, I've trained long enough that that muscle is there. The beautiful thing is it's going to stay there. And I'm just going to be able to feed it just enough to maintain. All right? So just because it's written doesn't make it so. Take it. Apply it. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, change it. And start thinking outside the box. Everything that we know now, 40 years ago, we had no clue. Right? And it's going to be the same way. We're going to learn so much more in the next 40 years. I'm 150 years old, so that's a cool <laughs> thing. I've seen a lot of things change in life. So um, keep in mind, put everything today into effect. Try it. Doesn't work. Uh, it's, a, it's an old Bruce Lee statement. He took things from people. What worked, he kept. What didn't work, he threw it away. Great man. Um, when it comes to nutrition, I am always changing. One thing for me is, because we're in health and fitness, we understand the body adapts, and it adapts quickly. So we need to confuse it. That goes with everything. It goes with nutrition as well. Okay, even though you're eating clean and a good balanced diet, doesn't mean your body adapts to it, and you need to change it again. 
okay? The body is so brilliant, it understands different carbohydrates. It understands different proteins, different fats. So again, change it up. Change it up. I change my nutrition plan every eight to 12 weeks, okay? I do not, and I don't believe in saying, I'm just maintaining, so I'm on the same nutrition. We're in life, baby. There's no maintaining. We're always getting better or we're getting worse. That's it. That's unfortunate, that's mean, but that's truth. We're always aging, we're always getting older. You have to try to get better, just to try to maintain. Does that make sense to you guys? Yes. Minor changes. So she asked, how do I change it? Minor changes. I'm not a huge guy, again, in the sense of my beliefs in what's worked is never extreme. I don't go from a carb depletion diet to eat grass and grow. Okay, there's, there's a balance in between things. Um, so for a change for me, it could be 500 calories every eight to 12 weeks, okay? Um, and this is usually because I knew I wanted, to, I didn't want to skip foods, I didn't want to skip breads or pastas or things that are taboo now. Um, these are things that I can diet down to and compete with in the 80s and 90s. But now today, it's the worst thing in the world. Whatever is good for you or whatever is bad for you, understand it's not the same for everybody, okay? So you don't need to have a client come in and go, all right, let's get rid of carbs completely. Done, rest of your life, no more carbs. I don't believe that. I, I don't believe we should get rid of stuff like that. But that's just me. and and. For what people I work with and stuff, I'd like them to keep an understanding that I'm an extremist. So for them, I'd like to keep some foods in. So at times I'll play with my carbohydrates, at times I'll play with my proteins like I am right now. Um, so again, there's so much that's written about foods, but this is all about food. And keep changing it, keep playing with it, keep finding out what works for you. Um, you're going to be surprised on how many people function off of carbs better than protein. Fats instead of carbs. Alright, so there's not one set nutrition plan. Okay, it's not just cut calories too. Uh, everybody believes, let's be in a deficit as we're training. But if you're in a deficit for 8 to 12 weeks, where are you going? You know, you've got to come back around. You've got to build back that foundation. And what I mean by foundation is this. As we get older, things slow down. Is that right? Yeah. That's what they say. Okay. So what I try to do is understand this, and this is a tough one for everybody. I believe in trying to keep my calories as high as possible as long as I possibly can. Because if all I'm doing is walking around doing 1,800 calories, where am I going? Am I going to 1,500 calories? Am I going to stop traveling? Do I have 1,000 calories? Maybe 900? I'll be a runway model in no time. <laughs> so always go back to the foundation. Always go back to as much calories as you can. And this is for you guys, for your clients, for anybody. There has to be a portion where you go, okay, I'm hitting my head against the wall. Slow down a bit. Let's just take a brief breath, jump back for a couple weeks. Let the body adapt to those calories again. Do you guys understand? There's always those times where you're worried because, oh, I've been out of carbs pretty much for 12 weeks. If I go back to carbs, I'm going to gain fat three times as fast now. I'm going to blow up. Bring it back slowly. Let your body adapt to utilizing it again. Okay? Your body will change if you're purposely trying to change it. All right? You take carbs out, it's going to start utilizing protein as energy. It's not what we want to do technically, but if you can do it for a short period of time, great. You getting ready for something, you want to drop some weight, you got a class reunion, something like that, perfect. Uh, do you watch your diet when you're traveling? Do you like, do meal preps all the time? So, I am, I am, I'm old school. I was worse than buggy, so we had tuna fish and rice cakes back in the day. I even did baby food traveling, but now it is so easy. <laughs> I'm not joking. We had baby food for carbs, it was awesome. My mom. <laughs> So one of the things for me is when I travel, and I travel every week, I'm, I'm home usually Mondays through Thursdays and then we fly out again somewhere. That food is already prepped for the day. 
um, and also if it's already mailed to the location that I'm at. Believe it or not, I'm the guy that's never missed a meal in 35 years. Uh, I, I understand that my root, my foundation is uh, keep the basic exercises in uh, and nutrition. If I can do that, I, it doesn't matter what happens in my life. If I can keep that solid, it is my way to drop back down the foundation. Life knocks you down, yeah? Yes. Things happen. You lose people, bad relationships, uh, parents pass, whatever that is, if there's a foundation, that's where I want you to drop to. I never want you to drop below the foundation. What I mean by the foundation is there's a basic nutrition plan that you're on. Keep healthy. Keep the nutrition healthy. Try to sleep. During those hard times, it's tough. And then a basic workout. So here's one of the biggest things. So when it comes to traveling and eating right, I never miss. I always plan. I never leave the house without food. Like today we have our lunch with us. We'll be here all day, but you know, I got meals for every two hours. Boom. And we got scheduled out. So that's one thing that I always prioritize. That I make sure those meals are prepped and ready. And it's usually the day before we have it prepped. So as much as you travel, and I work with people that travel. I travel every week, but I know people that travel two times a week for business. And their meals are still on point. So it's just one of those things that you really got to take a moment. Again, this is your job, right? This is what you do. And I'm not talking about training people. I'm talking about you, your body. That's your job right now. You gotta walk in there every day looking healthy and clean and fresh and going, no, 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 I stay on this. I'm not gonna ask you to stay on the nutrition plan that I made up for you if I can't stay on it. Come on. That's not what you guys are. You guys are here because you're like as mental as I am. Okay, not that crazy, but <laughs> you know what I'm getting at. So, does that answer your question? Yeah, always prepping. Twice a week. 